routine of my 30 days of service and another great day. So I once again took part in food prep and service for the homeless. And if you're wondering, wow, he does a lot in the food area, um, it's one because I love food and I love to eat, but one of the things that upsets me the most is um, the fact that so many people in this great country of ours go to bed hungry or don't know where their next meal is coming from. So it is an area I tend to um, dabble in a lot. I also love to cook and love everything about food and sharing food with people. So if you're wondering why there are more food things than other things or than any other one type of service, that that's why. Um, it's something that really interests me. But I am trying to get out there and do other things too. So I hope you've seen that over the past um, 18 days. So today I went to the um, Holy Name of Jesus School, which is part of the Holy Name of Jesus Church, and part of the church and school is a mini kitchen, that they, which they call it, and they do food service for the homeless. And first let me tell you how I found out about this opportunity. If you've been checking out um, my journey, you might recall that two days ago on day 16, I did um, skills-based volunteering in which I led a training session on um, using your professional skills to volunteer. Well, at that session, or, and right after it, a woman by the name of Julia had approached me saying, you know, if you still have any time available, we have this great program at our school and church um, in which we feed the homeless in the area. And I said, yeah, I would, you know, she explained the school to me, which it's a um, historically African-American uh, school. And in an area known as Jefferson Park, which is, I think, sort of south central Los Angeles, and it's just north of where the LA riots happened quite a few years back. So, an interesting area. And I said, yeah, let me, let me come check it out. So my, only, my point in telling you that is, you never know where you might learn about an opportunity to go help someone else. So, at dinner parties, at conferences, in meetings, talk to people. You never know what's going to come up. So I got there today, and before I went into the kitchen, I got a tour of the school. And four fantastic young ladies who are students there gave me the tour, two eighth graders and two sixth graders. And they were so eloquent, so kind, and so excited and proud of where they go to school. It, it was really, really inspiring to see. Um, the pride that they took and and the respect with which they talked about their school and the education that they're getting as well as um, their appreciation for how service and helping others is incorporated into their learning. Um, I, I think that's fantastic. And one of the young ladies, one of the eighth graders, I had asked them about the mini kitchen where I would be serving and she said what's so great about that program is that people do it from the heart. And I loved when she said that, and I, I hope that's how people serve, is from their heart. When I got into the mini kitchen and met a group of ladies, as well as the I, I, one guy, the deacon, I completely saw what this student meant. And so today, there were no students in the kitchen with me, but there are times that they're um, in there doing what I was doing. So. Today was a group of Spanish-speaking folks who do this once a week to serve food to the homeless, and then the program is run three other days during the week um, in which English-speaking folks are the primary givers of this service. So here's what's so cool. So all these ladies in there are volunteers not only giving their time, but they cook the food that is served at home. So they buy it, they cook it, they bring it to this kitchen behind the church, which is in a garage. It's this makeshift serving area, mini kitchen in a garage. And they bring all this great, wholesome, homemade food. And I am talking a soup that I understand was made by the deacon that had so much chicken and fresh vegetables and pasta in it. And then there was a macaroni dish with beef and um, some sandwiches for some folks and 
juice and coffee and applesauce and all this fresh, very healthy food. Oh, and a gorgeous salad. I wanted to devour the whole salad that this woman was standing there making and putting the finishing touches on. I mean, gorgeous. So I really loved that this wasn't a, they weren't just showing up to hand food out or processed food or things like that. There was so much love in this food and it really was, to that young lady's point, coming from the heart and that was so obvious. So they were great. They welcomed me with arms wide open and were super, super sweet to me and explained to me their process and so I jumped right in and was pouring coffee, pouring juice. I ladled out all of the soup and it was a lot of soup. I helped plate some of the meals and I um, got to hand out mo the majority of the meals and we served about 75 meals today. So it was super rewarding. Um, it was in an area of LA that I'm not overly familiar with and it was just, it was nice to see. And so what was also interesting is a couple of these ladies go to um, the holy name of Jesus Church, but then others go to other churches but are friends with these women and they come and they help them. So it really has been a great experience and moving on to the next day.